Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, just so happened to need to stop and get gas today, so I went to that gas station in town where I've been able to pick up some of these kind of value packs of uh, 2019 Bowman. Still hanging around. They've been in this gas station all summer long. There are only, or there were only two packs left, and I got this one, $9.99 is the price point. Um, there's one left, and so uh, I appear to be the only person in town who's even buying them. So I'm just letting it sit there, and maybe here in two or three weeks, next time I need to fill up my gas tank, I'll swing by there again and pick up that last pack. Uh, they've also got some Topps opening day packs for 99 cents, which I'm not really that interested in. And they have a few Topps update uh, jumbo packs too, but that's a little bit easier to find. And these have kind of disappeared from Walmarts and um, other stores just because they were so popular. Everyone got that Wander Franco fever. Um, and so they snatched these up a long time ago. So I've had some decent luck, as I said before in my other videos, with this specific pack. Um, the odds on the back aren't the greatest. I think I ripped right through them. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, you guys are probably pretty familiar. We've got two packs of 12 cards each, so we've got 24 pack or 24 cards there. And then we have these five bonus camel cards. And I believe I misspoke my last video with these cards um, and said it's a mixture of current players and prospects. And I believe that's incorrect. I believe it's the five Five cards are all prospect players, so uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, looking for the Wander, looking for maybe Joey Bart. Um, lots of good prospects in here. Joe Adele. Uh, we'll see how we do. First pack, I will try to be careful. Not to damage anything. All right, here we go. Kyle Wright, been up and down a little bit with the Braves. Michael Givens, got that funky release, relief pitcher. I'm going to put all the, you can always tell with these, the current major leaguers, uh, the name is down at the bottom, like this, Matt Carpenter. Um, Michael Franco, I believe he got released from, or he wasn't tendered a contract for Philadelphia, so he'll be a free agent and looking to sign somewhere. So all these have had the name along the bottom. There's your National League MVP, Cody Bellinger, absolute stud. And one more, Miggy, speaking of studs, at least he was back in the day, not so much anymore, kind of falling on hard times as he got older and injuries kind of caught up with him. And then you'll see how this one here is the name is diagonal, and that's going to be the way it is with all the prospects. I do not know how to pronounce his name, Bruce Dar Gratterall. This guy's on MLB The Show, and I use him um, because he's like a really low-rated pitcher, and in some of the events, your lineup has to meet a certain standard and you can't have too many studs and so you have to go to the lowest pitchers available and he's one of the guy I uses and he's actually not too bad on that game he throws hard I don't know if it says anything about that on the back of this card but he throws hard yep look at there and skills right in the middle sits with mid 90s heater touching 100 miles an hour so um, I'm gonna put him over here because it's the Bowman Chrome first one you maybe saw a little peek here talent pipeline I uh, would like to get the talent pipeline of next year's Bowman because it's probably going to have Adley Rutschman on it. Uh, here we got single A DJ Hall and double A Ryan Mountcastle. I've heard that name. I don't know a lot about him. Triple A DJ Stewart. Um, I kind of like these. I'm going to put that up there. And see, here we go. We got more of the Bowman paper, um, not the chrome, and Albert Abreu. These should be prospect players. Uh, another chrome card, Ryan Velotti. I don't know how to pronounce that, Velad. Apologize. I'm gonna put that with my other Chrome card. Um, I believe that's. I don't. Is that a refractor? No. Dustin May, Ginger Guard. Is that what they called him when he got called up later on in the year? Pitching in spring training. There. Look how red that number is on his jersey. Um, that's obviously not their regular season jersey. Spring training. Ooh, and one more. We'll put him over here with the prospects. Franklin Colome. Kilome. Colome. I do not know anything about him. I apologize again. Signed the Phillies out of free agent. Number five prospect in the Mets organization. Uh, acquired in a trade. So, nothing too crazy there. But, maybe pack number two will have a little more fire in it. Here's the odds on the packs. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail. Sky blue, one in 90. I think I have one of those of a couple players, but not too many. 
Um, <laughs> no purchase necessary is long since gone. Open this one up, and then we'll go through those five camel cards, and we'll wrap this one up. Second pack, got a little rookie card action at the beginning. Usually when they do this, there's like four or five rookies all in a row. Cedric Mullins signed a lot of autographs this year. Here we go. Here we are. our rookie card run. Jonathan Lo... Lo Lo oh, man. I cannot say words right now. Loisica. Jonathan Loisica for the Yankees. Did all right this year. Daniel De Los Santos hasn't really made that big of a name for himself yet. Speaking of studs, Zach Grinke getting up there in years, but... Talk about consistent and gold glove winner. Absolute stud of an athlete. Loves to hit. Did I? I did that wrong. No, okay, no. I was thinking I put those on the wrong stack. Eugenio Suarez was leading the National League in home runs there for a while. Brian Anderson's carving out a nice career for himself in Miami. One of their best players, if not their best offensive player this year. Here we go. Got a little chrome card. Chris Paddock. Came up this year, made quite a bit of an impression uh, early on. Then he kind of got hurt, I think, and uh, came back at the end of the year. It was all right. Chris Paddock, that's a nice one. We'll put him right in the middle. And here's a guy I'm really high on as well, Jesus Lazardo. He missed almost all of the season with an injury. He got hurt in spring training. Um, was kind of in line to be a, a pretty big piece of the Oakland rotation. And he sat out almost the entire year. Came back right at the end of the season. Pitched out of the bullpen for Oakland. Uh, pitched in the playoffs and did well. Um, Jesus Lazardo Look for big things from him. I believe they got him from Washington. I don't remember how. But I know his first Bowman card is with the Nationals. Um, jumped from short season single A all the way to triple A. And a 28 inning scoreless streak at double A. Very talented pitcher. Look for big things from him next year in your fantasy drafts. Um, if you can probably pick up some of his cards, still pretty cheap. He he hasn't really been that exposed yet to the MLB and a lot of fans. Only those diehard fans or people in Oakland really know a lot about him yet. Uh, there's my man again, Bruce Dar Graterol. Apologize, I'm saying that incorrectly. Royce Lewis, now here is a stud. Number one overall pick. Royce Lewis was the MVP of the Arizona Fall League uh, this past November, I believe. Um, and if you look at the history of the guys who've been the MVP of the Arizona Fall League, you've got some absolute studs on that list. Guys like Chris Bryant. Um, just off the top of my head, I can't remember the others. But um, Minnesota's looking for big things from him. Number one overall pick a couple years ago. Uh, if you haven't looked up much on Royce Lewis. There it is, round one, first overall in 2017. Uh, really, really a talented kid. So we're going to put him right on top of Paddock. And here we got a couple, uh, got a first Bowman card, Blaze Alexander. Don't know much about Blaze, but I've seen his name before. And Reggie Lawson. I have seen Reggie Lawson. He pitched, I believe, in the majors a little bit this year. Could be wrong on that. Um... We'll put Reggie Lawson there. Blaze Alexander, for anyone who's interested, first Bowman card. Picked in the 11th round. And uh, reaches mid-90s on his fastball, but now he's obviously listed as a shortstop. So uh, we're down to the final five, these five bonus camo cards. They're usually pretty solid. A uh, group of OGs. Oh, that was almost a disaster. What is going on? All right, they're usually pretty solid. The prospects, they're all Bowman paper cards. You won't see any chrome ones like the Royce Lewis right there in the middle of the screen. Uh, but you can get some usually pretty high rated prospects. Alex Fajardo for Detroit. There, speaking of highly rated prospects, I mean, look at that. The highest rated prospect coming into this year. Vladdy Jr. Put him up here. Jay Groom, can't say I know anything about Jay, but left-handed reliever. Look at his wrist, he's got it all cocked there. Looks like he broke his wrist. Obviously it's not, it's just his tucking it to start his pitching motion. Matthew Libertor, highly rated uh, prospect for Tampa. Hasn't really made his major league debut yet, but a lot of people are expecting good things from him. And then a first bowman of Christian Santana. First Bowman, Christian Santana. I don't know much about Christian, 
So let me see if I can find out a little bit really quickly before we wrap this up. Christian Santana obviously uh, signed as a free agent. Came from the same hometown as Michael Pineda. And it says he could be a corner infielder. So there you go. California League Player of the Week. So here it is. If you can somehow find one of these packs uh, hanging around somewhere in a local store, I doubt Walmart's around would have too many of them, but maybe your local card store still has some. I think these camo parallels are um, exclusive to a Walmart, but maybe you can find some of these 2019 Bowmans. Uh, you'll get a nice mix of base cards, of prospects cards, a few Bowman Chromes. Uh, you can see this time I had obviously the two inserts and then four prospect cards. Paddock and Royce Lewis are obviously the two headliners of those four. And then the Vladdy up here in the camel cards turned out to be a nice little hit itself. So 